Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. How's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a high bounce wall in Roblox. Inside my workspace, I have two walls. I have a blue wall and a red wall. They are both regular parts, regular spherical parts. And as we all know, the walls in Roblox, they are not made to bounce very well. So let's now run test and take a look. You can see it bounces a little bit, but very little, not too high, right? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make our ball bounces higher. So now let's go back to studio and we're going to add a script to the red ball, just the red ball. So we're going to leave the blue ball alone. So we have something to compare with. The regular ball is the blue ball and the red ball is going to be the high bounce ball. In our script, let's first declare our red ball. So we're going to say local. We're just going to call it part. So part is our red wall equals to script dot parent. Now we're going to define a bunch of constants. So we're defining the new density of our part. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to change the physical properties of our part. So here we are defining the new physical properties of our part. The density, we're going to set it to zero. We actually, we're setting everything to zero except for the friction weight. We set it to one and elasticity weight, we set it to one. And now let's declare a new variable, local. Let's call it physical properties. And we're gonna set it equal to physical properties dot new. So we're creating a new physical property object and then we're, we're gonna assign it to this variable here. And basically here, we're just gonna pass in these five parameters. So we're gonna have density, comma, friction, comma, elasticity, comma, friction weight. And the last one is elasticity weight. Notice these variables, they are all capital. They, all, they are all in all caps. The reason for that is because they are constants. So we define our regular variable with small letters or like, like this with camel case letters. But for constants, we define them in all caps. This way, we're not going to make a mistake and change those values because those values, we want them to be constants. We, we don't want to change those values. And that is the reason why they are in all caps. Anyway, so now we have a new physical properties object. And all we have to do now is we have to assign it to that part. So we're going to go to the part and we're going to change the custom physical properties of that part. We're going to say part dot custom physical properties equal to our object that we have defined up here. So set it equal to physical properties. Let's now run tests and take a look. Whoa, the red ball did not bounce at all. What happened? So you can see the blue ball is the regular ball. It bounces not too high, but a little bit. And the red ball just dropped and it stays on the ground. It did not bounce up. What happened? Let's go back and take a look. It's because we set the elasticity property of the part to zero. And that's why it did not bounce. So let's change this instead of zero we're gonna set it to one and let's take another look ah you can see the red ball now bounces much more than the blue ball and if you want to make the red ball bounces even more than that you can change its elasticity weight property so how about instead of one we're gonna make this 100 and let's take a look whoa that is a high bounce and it doesn't stop i want to go into the game and take a look now so instead of run i'm gonna play test and i want to play with that ball there's the ball let's go and play with it bounces very oh look at that that is a high bounce it's gone i don't think i can catch it all right guys the ball is gone and that is how you make a high bounce ball in Roblox. Thank you all for watching and we look forward to see you again in our next tutorial. Take care everyone. Peace.